do for a quick update. Fish are doing well. Here's the new wrasse that I brought up a couple of weeks ago now. And the social wrasse in back. Just give me a little more activity on the fish. I like that. Coral wise, struggling. Phospora here is not doing super well. Uh, it could be that the hermits up there are digging at it. I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna let it go at this point. Seems like it's still got a little bit of stuff on it, but taking it downstairs, which I'll show you, is not going to help because uh, I killed off everything down there, all of my little frags of the fossil port. So other corals, uh, it's about the same status uh, in terms of what's going on here. I lost the last head on my Duncan. Uh, actually, there's one little one that's sort of left. That's about it. I'm starting to lose chunks of these plating Montes. Starting to fall off. I'm gonna see if I can pull off uh, some real material off of this piece and grow it back out. Looks like I lost the better part of a head on the... Uh, really? Somebody's whining over there behind me on this frog spawn, but the other head is okay, so I'm gonna leave it as is. I've been starting to fight Mahanos. Uh, that's not one. There they are. They should look damaged. I picked up a laser. Uh, I think I got the same one, basically, that uh, Dave Lambeau has, uh, and did a video on his. Uh, it is kind of fun. Um, I, I, I am concerned with blinding my fish with it, but I, you know, I'm certainly not going to give them glasses uh, to work on anything. But that's it. Uh, doing pretty well in terms of the lighting schedules and stuff. The mushrooms, I don't know if they were recouping or not, but uh, yeah, the big update here is that I've got the leopard in upstairs. And I've got, like I said, it's, it sort of generates a lot more uh, movement in the tank, just adding a couple of little fish like that. So... Uh, I, I'm probably okay with just holding off in terms of fish for now. I don't see any real need to add a lot more. I'd love to get a smaller set of clowns and move that big one somewhere uh, else, but it's, it's so happy. Uh, I don't know. Let me know if you think I could get a smaller clown and pair it up with that. Maybe that would be fun, but maybe that wouldn't work. All right. Take a look in the basement, too. Gonna try to keep this quick in the basement. Yeah, I need another beer. On the frag tank side, as I mentioned, the Pasolapora frags that I had, they're gone. Pick those and pull them. Uh, the hammerhead's still looking good. I haven't touched it, uh, so it's still looking good. Seems like when I touch stuff, it dies off. Got a couple of shrimp to go after the Aptasia, and they have appeared to have done that, but they don't seem to give a hoot about any of this algae. Uh, so I'm going to clean this out. Actually, the algae uh, will be consumed if I move it over to the fuge on the other side. The, the green emerald crab over there will pick it all clean for me. But perhaps that's what's going on over in the fuge. Uh, I just stirred this all up. Again, my macro is pretty much all gone. So it's pretty cloudy. Oh, look. I love the cucumber. He's pretty cool. Um, but I'm pretty convinced that one of the key reasons why I'm losing macro in here is because I've got this big monster green emerald crab in here. And I've got a couple of other crabs in there as well. So perhaps they were chewing down on a lot of stuff. I did transfer some of the uh, cleanup crew from here upstairs. And that seemed to sort of curb the loss of the macro, but this stuff is going pretty quick. So I'll keep at it. Uh, I, I'm pretty convinced I've got enough light to do stuff, but the reality is um, water parameters is probably my issue. And uh, along those lines, I've bought some uh, better test kits, which should be here in a couple of days. So I, I'm going to have a ceremonial 
uh, tossing of all the APIs, uh, and yeah, get on it that way. So that's the update from here. Everything else over here is doing well. Uh, skimmer's still kicking butt, uh, just dripping stuff out, and that's about it. Um, Nothing in QT, even though it's running, uh, there's nothing over there, which is fine. I don't need anything else at this point. Uh, I may actually QT Coral when I bring it in next, but I don't think I'm going to bring any Coral in until I see what I've got growing rather than dying. So that's my plan right now. No need to spend money on Coral. If I'm just killing it, I'll spend money on test kits and some other stuff. Get on it that way. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment, or subscribe if you'd like to see more in this series.